north-south roadway through the Lacrosse Marsh. <laughs> no, I do not um, at all, ever. Um, and it isn't only the marsh. That road has to cut through neighborhoods, and that will be the final straw. Okay, that will be it. And then I do think the battle is lost. Uh, not to uh, quote one of the, my primary opponents, but Dave Miles made the point that we are a five-minute city. If we aren't a five-minute city, we're a ten-minute city. Everything's within that time range. Okay, and so I don't see the necessity, and I think it would be a mortal blow uh, to the neighborhood. Um, I mean, our neighborhoods are the core. They are the core. Downtown, I worked there in the 70s, and it's come back a long ways from when uh, it was great in the 70s and it had quite a trough in the 80s. It's come back a long way. I always like to say our downtown is much better than Eau Claire's. In Eau Claire, they turn the signal lights on caution at 6 o'clock in the evening. Okay, nothing happened. We don't. We have a town town <laughs> that is the envy of most of Wisconsin. Uh, but to run, run a north-south corridor, whether it be through the marsh, it's going to enter some, in, in somewhere and it's going to cut through the, our neighborhoods, that will be the final blow. Thank you. David? I also am very much opposed to building any new roads through the marsh, whether it's north-south corridor or any new roads. Um, again, uh, it's, it's a situation where we have uh, such a resource in that marsh, the flood control that it provides, the, the natural resources, the wildlife, and all of that, that that, uh, that gem provides, you know, man cannot create. I mean, we cannot uh, uh, borrow enough money to, to accomplish the things that that the Cross River Marsh accomplishes. So I am very much opposed to any new road through the marsh. Um, I do feel that there are improvements that can be made to our transportation system. Um, I, you know, have been following the, the county and the, the La Crosse Area Planning Committee's study, the 2050 study, I believe it is, to look at transportation improvements. So I do feel that we can look at our existing street networks and see where there are opportunities to improve that. Um, the, the county has talked about possibly doing maybe a rapid bus transit where you have some dedicated lanes uh, to get people to and from work and to and from shopping in a more dedicated way with, with public transit. I do think we've got to look at improving our public transit system. Uh, one of the things that we have we've talked about actually downtown is because our community is, is obviously very long and skinny, uh, most of our routes do that as well. If there were ways that we could improve that circulation east and west and get our neighborhoods, get our communities where people live to the downtown where most of the whole region works, I think it's 70% or so of our entire county population works in the downtown area, um, get those, those transit systems reconfigured slightly so that we can get people to where they've got to go more efficiently. I think that's, that's something that we should be looking at. Uh, and then it's also simple things, how traffic signals are timed. Um, I know we've probably all had frustration going from one traffic signal to the next and having to stop. I mean, um, you know, there's simple things like that. Uh, also, when do our large employers have their shift start and, and end? And if we're all, you know, starting and ending at the same time, maybe there's opportunities to, all, to change that a little bit so that not everybody is all leaving at 5 o'clock. It's those kinds of th simple things along with the idea of trying to look at our long-range plans that, that I would like to, to tackle. Thank you, Tim. Uh, 